I'm going to start with dragging in these two particle assets. So these come from Kenny's particle pack. I'll link that in the description. So I'm going to start with adding in a spatial node here and then just add in a particles node as a child and just go and do process material, add a new particles material, draw pass, add in a new quad mesh, and then geometry instance, add in a spatial material. Go into flags, we'll put on unshaded and vertex color uses albedo and then parameters we'll do blend mode as add billboard mode as particle billboard and then albedo we we'll drag in the fire image there and then if we go back here let's go into here and set the emission shape to be a sphere size 0.2 and the spread to zero set the gravity to zero as well and then angular velocity I'm going to set that to like 30 just so it rotates randomly and maybe add a little randomness to it linear acceleration set it to four so it rises the longer it's up gives it more of a flame effect I'm just going to rotate this by negative 90 degrees here just hold control when you rotate you need to get into rotate mode and so that's rising up, that looks good. Now go into angle, set 360, and then full random, so that'll completely randomize its rotation when it starts. And then scale, set this to three. Go into scale curve here, and I'm just gonna add a point here, put it like right there, and then drag these like that. That gives it a nice flame look right there. And then go back here and finally just have to set the color, create a color ramp, new gradient texture here. And come in here, I'm going to set the first one here to be this bright yellow about there. And then the second one to be red like that. just red kind of like that looks all right and let's go back here and let's just set the amount to like 16 maybe for particles there we go and next I'm gonna call this flames and I'll just call this whole thing fire and then I'm just gonna duplicate this control D call this smoke and then come in here I'm gonna click make unique on the process material and then also on the spatial material so that I can edit it separately. Go on the flags and set transparent to true. This way the um, smoke can turn invisible. That way you can set the alpha and it'll actually make it transparent. And on albedo we'll drag in the smoke texture there and then come back to the process material here. Let's see, what do I need to change? Uh, let's go to time actually here, set the lifetime to three, so it'll rise up. Then go into process material, and we're gonna set scale to like two, clear out the uh, curve on it, on the scale color ramp, clear that as well, and then make a new one, new gradient texture there new gradient and just put one in the middle right there and then select these and set the alpha to zero on both of them on the endpoints here. Now if you zoom out you'll see it gradually disappears at the top and finally let's just set it so there's like let's say 32 is the amount. See it rising up. Also, let's make so there's some randomness on the scale, like 50% randomness. Oops, all right. And yeah, a quick explanation of something here in, if you don't know what blend mode does. So additive mode means instead of mixing the color with whatever's behind it, which is the default, it'll just add the color to whatever's behind it. So you see these textures are black. Black is zero. So if you add zero to whatever is behind it, it doesn't change it. But this is good for like light and stuff, anything fire or that lights up. Anyways, so finally you can add in a camera if you want to see what this kind of would look like. 
get a better view of it. And I'll just set the environment here. Background to custom color like that. There we go. Looks pretty good. And there you go. That's a high quality flame asset straight out of 2005. Perfect for capturing that oblivion aesthetic.